I want to tell you, if you feel guilty this morning and there's sin in your life that you've not confessed to God, that's true legitimate guilt. And what you need to do is 1 John 1, 9, confess it to Him and ask Him to forgive you and take that skeleton out of your closet. If you've confessed your sin, you still feel guilty, that's false, illegitimate guilt. And you need to say, Lord, I've confessed my sin, and I know based on 1 John 1, 9, that you've forgiven me. And Lord, this skeleton doesn't, rem doesn't belong in my life. I want you to take this skeleton and cast it into the sea of forgetfulness. Take the guilt, the shame that I'm feeling illegitimately and remove it from me. Romans 8, 1. Let me leave you with this verse. Boy, what a great verse of victory. Romans 8, 1. Therefore, no condemnation now exists for those in Christ. If you're in Christ, and you've asked him to forgive you of all your sins, and you're up to date on your confession, I want to tell you something. He'll take the skeletons out of your closet. All those skeletons of guilt, whatever they are there for. Skeletons don't belong in the closet of anybody's life. They'll haunt you. They'll make life miserable for you. And some of you are going through that. If you've got one or more skeletons in your closet this morning, here's what you need to do. Number one, admit. Admit you've got a skeleton, and you put it there. Admit that. There's some reason that that skeleton's there. Admit it. Number two, agree. Agree with God. That's what confession's all about. When you confess your sins, you're not telling God something he doesn't already know. When David confessed in Psalm 32 and Psalm 51, he wasn't telling God anything that God Almighty didn't already know. He was agreeing with God. God, you're right. What you've been trying to tell me for a year is exactly dead on. And God, I am guilty. So admit, agree, and then ask. Ask for forgiveness. And God will forgive you. And God's the only one I know of, folks, that can take those nasty skeletons out of our closets. Would you let me do that for you today? Let's stand together.